Greetings again, viewers. A pleasure to see you here. JLB back again with another installment of Animated TV History Tour. And on this edition, we are going to be exploring one cartoon that was actually shown on Captain Kangaroo. I mentioned it during my Captain Kangaroo animated uh, segments video, but this time I'm going to be diving into detail about each one. It might be spread across multiple videos, so bear with me here. We're going to start off with <clears throat> a show for Captain Kangaroo called Tom Terrific. Tom Terrific was an early animated series for American TV and was part of the Captain Kangaroo show, as I said. And it was created by Gene Deitch under the Terry Toons Studio, which by that time was a subsidiary of CBS, the network that was broadcasting Captain Kangaroo. Now, Tom Terrific ran a series of five-minute cartoons created specifically for the show between 1957 and 1959. And it were rerun on Captain Kangaroo for many years thereafter. For several years after 1962, Tom Terrific would be broadcast every other week, alternating with Lariat Sam, which was another Terry Toons creation. But how did Tom come to be? Well, turns out that Gene adapted the feature from his earlier newspaper comic strip, Terrible Thompson, which he distributed during the 50s via the United Features Syndicate. Terrible Thompson was a, a six-year-old boy who imagined himself to be the hero of history and freely traveled back in time to assist historical figures like, say for example, Edgar Allan Poe or uh, George Washington, other historical figures, something like that. An illustrated book reprinting the adventures of this precursor to Tom Terrific was actually published by Fantagraphics Books. Not sure if it's available online, but might be worth a look if you ask me. Now, much like much like that one video I made about Sammy the Pelican, or whatever his name was, all the voices in the show were performed by Lionel Wilson. And if you know your animation history, you might know Lionel Wilson as the voice of Eustace Bag from the Cartoon Network series that would air in the 90s, Courage the Cowardly Dog. It was drawn in simple black and white style, reminiscent of children's drawings, and it featured a G Wiz, G Wiz, if you will, boy hero by the name of Tom Terrific, who lived in a treehouse that could transform himself into anything he wanted thanks to his magic funnel-shaped thinking cap, which is uh, sort of like uh, the same powers that Willie the Giant has in the 1947 Disney flick Fun and Fancy Free. <clears throat> It also went, this cap also enhanced his intelligence, and he had a comic lazy bone sidekick by the name of Mighty Manfred the Wonder Dog. He also had an arch foe by the name of Krabby Appleton, whose motto was, and I quote, I'm rotten to the core. Other foes in the show consisted of Mr. Instant, the Instant Thing King, Captain Kidney Bean, Sweet Tooth Sam the Candy Bandit, and Isotope Freeney the Meanie. I mean, Isotope Feeny. My mistake. Now, l years after Tom Terrific was long and gone and off to Wasteland, he actually appeared in the 1999 Curbside Pilot, where he was voiced by Haley Joel Osmond. And he was also ranked number 32 by TV Guy Magazine among its 50 greatest cartoon characters. But unfortunately, as of now, there has never been an authorized VHS or DVD release of the series. But after all this time, is it worth watching Tom Terrific? Well, that's a tough question for me to answer. If, you, if you're if you a fan of Lionel Wilson and, and what work he did on Courage the Cowardly Dog, then, well, it might be worth it. But for those of you who grew up in the 50s, I think it might be worth it for nostalgia reasons. But as for everyone else, <clears throat> if you grew up with uh, other shows that aired in the late 2000s and 2010s, or you just didn't know anything about Tom Terrific, 
I think it might be best for you to skip this one. But regardless, thanks again, everyone, for joining in. Really, it totally means a lot to me. And uh, thanks to thanks to the, that one special subscriber who uh, constantly gives me uh, good feedback on most of my videos. I want to thank him personally. I think he might be my number one fan. But anyway, I'll be seeing you next time for another trip down Anime TV Memory Lane. Until then, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.